Hi everyone, John Paul Briones here from In Motion Hosting, and thank you for joining us for another video in our WordPress In Motion series. Today I'm going to show you how to disable your WordPress plugins. All right, I'm going to show you two methods for disabling your WordPress plugins. The first one and the easiest one is going to be to log into your admin dashboard and to actually disable them there. So go ahead and start by logging into your WordPress admin dashboard. If you don't know how to do that, a pop-up will come up on the screen. Go ahead and click that to go to our full guide on how to log into your WordPress admin dashboard. Alright, once you've logged in, go ahead and click plugins on the left menu here. When you do that, you'll notice all of your plugins will be listed here. In my case, I just have two of the default plugins that come installed, uh, come included with WordPress. If you have additional plugins, they will be listed there. First thing we're going to do is click this box here for the, for the plugins, next to plugin, and it's going to check all of your plugins. Essentially, when you're troubleshooting a WordPress problem, one of the best methods to troubleshoot it is to actually disable all of your plugins and that way it rules out one of the plugins or it will let you know if one of the plugins is the cause it won't tell you exactly which ones but it will tell you if it's a plugin or not and so to start we're gonna do check this box here to select all under bulk actions we're gonna click the drop down and we're gonna deactivate all the plugins go ahead and hit apply you'll see this message saying selected plugins have been deactivated and you'll notice that there's a, an option here to activate. So these are deactivated now. That's the easiest way to deactivate or to disable your plugins in WordPress. The second method is going to be directly in your cPanel. I'm going to go ahead, select all, and I'm going to activate these plugins again, just so you can see uh, that they are activated. At this time, I'm going to go ahead and log into my cPanel so I can show you how to disable the plugins there. To begin, let's go ahead and log into your cPanel. If you don't know how to log into your cPanel, a pop-up will come up on the screen. Go ahead and click that to go to our full guide on how to log into your cPanel. Once you've logged into your cPanel, go to the File Manager, which is in the File section here. The File Manager. Go ahead and click that button. It will bring up all of your files. In my case, I'm going to go to the public underscore HTML folder, which is where my WordPress is installed. Once you get there, we're going to go to WP Content, and we're going to open this folder. When you do that, notice there's a Plugins folder, a Themes folder, and an Uploads folder. I'm going to actually rename this Plugins folder. When you rename this, it will disable all the plugins. You can rename it anything you want. In my example, I'm just going to rename it to Plugins.old. And once again, you can rename it anything. At this point, all of my plugins are disabled. Essentially, just renaming that folder will disable all your plugins. To confirm that, I'm going to go ahead and click plugins again here on my dashboard. Notice there's no plugins listed now. And that is because I renamed the plugins folder. At this point, if my website starts working, then I know that a plugin was one of the causes. And I can essentially rename this back to plugins which will enable all the plugins again and at this time you can actually go through and try renaming individual plugin folders and that might help you narrow down which one's actually causing the problem but essentially just renaming that plugins folder will disable all of your plugins and as you see I renamed it back to plugins I'm gonna go back to my dashboard and click plugins and you'll see that they're back again now because I renamed it back to plugins Thank you for joining us for another video in our WordPress in Motion series. Feel free to like this video and comment below so we can bring you more great videos in the future. Did you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? There's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.